In our last video, we told the story of Nora Hildebrandt, the very first professionally tattooed woman in Western culture. She came out a few weeks before a woman by the name of Irene Woodward. Now, Irene became so much more successful immediately. And the reason for that is, realistically, she was hotter. Nora was a shorter woman with a much more stocky build, where Irene was curvy, small, skinny. Overall, she became more popular because people liked looking at her without her clothes on. I really wish that was not the truth. So she has another insanely racist, sensationalized story, but this one honestly makes absolutely no sense. So the story goes that her father was a sailor and between the ages of six and 12, he tattooed her, maybe by force, maybe to protect her, maybe because she liked getting tattooed. The story is that she enjoyed getting tattooed by him and begged him to continue, but he was either tattooing to stop the Native Americans from wanting her or to make them not want her more after they were kidnapped or because he was forced to when they did kidnap him, but it could also have been in the South Seas. The story really doesn't make any sense. The truth is that she was actually tattooed by Charlie Wagner and his mentor, Samuel O'Reilly. Samuel O'Reilly is actually the inventor of the first electric tattoo machine. He used the patent made by Thomas Edison for the electric pen and decided to use it and turn it into the very first electric tattoo machine. Irene is tattooed with incredibly beautiful designs, all American traditional. She has rising suns on her shoulders and absolutely stunning florals, wreaths, birds, fields of wheat, and tons of other things. Her body is a complete canvas of some of the most incredible art from that time period. Irene was so famous that she was traveling with P.T. Barnum Circus and she she has been immortalized in over 35 wax museums around the world. She traveled all across America and Europe showing off her incredible body at a time when showing an ankle was pretty risky. At the end of the day, she is absolutely one of the most influential women when it comes to female tattoo history. Another reason that she might have been more successful than Nora is the fact that she actually married her manager, where Nora married her tattoo artist. Irene lived an incredible life, but unfortunately she died at age 53 from cancer. The newspapers were claiming that the cancer was caused from all the poisons that she had put all over her body, which sounds a lot like today and all of the ignorance that's going on with the heavy metals that are in tattoo inks. Irene is just one of so many more stories that we are happy to tell you. So if you're enjoying this series, please make sure to follow us on Instagram, share this with your friends, and let us know what you think in the comments.